Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be re-uploading or redoing a video that I previously done. For those of you who have watched it already, I just felt like I did you guys an injustice because I kind of skipped some steps, or didn't necessarily skip them, but I just didn't go over the full setup of the call tree. So what I want to do is just go over that again, so let's begin. For those of you who don't know, a call tree or a call handler is basically the automated message that you get when you call an office and it says press 1 for sales, press 2 for tech support and so forth and so on uh, inside of Cisco Unity Connection this is very easy to set up so let's get started what you want to do is going to go to the system call handler right here on the call management on the left panel here and we're already here but you would click that click add new and we're going to just do a Best Buy call tree since everybody is pretty familiar with Best Buy and I have most of this stuff cached so that's why I'm just able to click and it automatically pops up, popped up because I've done this before I just deleted it for this video so this is the first couple steps you hit save and it's gonna open up a lot more features and typically you can keep this stuff by the default the one thing that you do want to change here is the active schedule uh, the active schedule di dictates open and closed um, recordings so I've already created one called Best Buy Store Hours you want to select that here and hit save and for those of you who are curious as to how I created that schedule it's right here on this panel it's a whole lot of options here but it's right here on the system settings and schedules and if you click on the Best Buy store hours you'll see how I have it set up from Monday through Saturday I believe I have it opening um, at 9, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then on Sunday only it opens at 1 p.m. I'm sorry yep, yeah, on 1 p.m. until 9 p.m. and basically that dictates when the open greeting plays so from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Sunday Saturday you're gonna hear that greeting in any other hours you're gonna hear the closed greeting and on Sunday from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. you're gonna hear the opening greeting in any other hours you're gonna hear the closed greeting okay so once you created that and set that active schedule we're gonna go back to the system call handler click on Best Buy now we want to cre um, create the inputs what happens when they press 1 what happens when they press 2 you do that under edit caller input choose the option that you want to program we're just gonna start with one and typically you're gonna transfer it to an extension so under call action you wanna go transfer to alternate contact number we're just gonna do 1111 description let's, let, let's make it sales and you hit save Alright, so you can go back up to, to edit, call caller input, the program option 2, or you can just come over here to caller input. Cisco and um, input some of these quick shortcuts just to help you out a little bit, uh, but either way it's fine if you want to go back to the menu or you can go to the shortcut. It doesn't matter. It's going to get you to the same location. So we're going to program option 2. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a transfer to alternate contact number extension 2222 description tech support uh, the description is not necessary just handy for administrators to um, help identify where calls are going so we're going to hit save and let's do option through instead of going to an alternate contact we're going to send it directly to someone's voicemail so we're going to go back to caller input choose option three so instead of caller action you want to go down to use it with mailbox and select it here and I already have it created it's called Best Buy Manager so when someone presses option 3 it's directly going to go into that manager's voicemail box so whenever he comes in the office if someone has a customer complaint or or, or whatever it's going to be right there in his mailbox and that all happens from the main greeting when a person presses option 3 alright the next thing we want to do is go and set the greeting uh, typically you're going to have an open and closed greeting. Some people don't do a closed greeting, but a store like Best Buy would, you know, because they get a lot of call volume. You, you want to have the options going on your open greeting and on closed greeting. Pretty much just simply says, We're sorry the store is closed. So to set that up, you're just going to click on standard. Standard is the opening greeting. And you want to choose my personal greeting. And you can, you can kind of uncheck this. That, that is really not going to play effect in here because we're going to, under call actions, we're not going to take a message. We're actually going to restart the greeting. You don't want to take a message with most call handlers. You want to actually just have it loop, loop, or, or, or worst case scenario, just have it 
hang up after it plays one time but if a person doesn't make a choice we're just gonna have it restart over and over and over again so we're gonna we did uh, my personal greeting so someone can actually do the recording the call action is restart greeting and here's where the person actually does the recording and this is actually run by Java so you're gonna have to go through a couple of their Java prompts first before you actually get the little icon popping up and just say allow so here whenever you're ready you can actually set this up to where you hit the record it'll, re it'll ring to someone's extension and it'll beep in their ear and they can do the recording there or if you have a file you can actually open it and actually click save it and hit save and it will save that file and automatically attach it to the um, call tree and that's that's a two those are two of the options that you can go with and that is basically it as far as the call tree so Cisco unity is a voicemail box so the calls actually have to come through the Cisco call manager first so what we need to do is create a CTI route point so we're gonna actually jump over here to the call manager and go to device CTI route point and do an add new and again I already have most of this cast so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna say best by main now this is character sensitive you can't just put spaces here you kinda gotta use brackets and hyphens and, and things of that nature uh, and it'll, it'll give you an ugly message at the top here uh, telling you it didn't say so you just when you get that you just know you gotta go back and figure out what went wrong and most of the time it tells you exactly what it was so here we're best by main is the description that's fine uh, device pool branch office calling search space long distance calling search space is fine I don't think I have a location program uh, all that's fine so we're gonna hit save now you see here with most phones you're gonna get a registered IP address um, but with CTI route points it's not really registering to anything it's within the call manager so to see unknown right here is typical no big deal all right, we're going to create an extension, and this, as you saw here, the Best Buy extension is 5555, so that's the number that you want to put here. Whatever your main number is, that's the number that goes here. And call search space is all phones is fine. And because it because the call tree is located in voicemail, you need to send it to voicemail. So this is uh, very crucial. These next couple steps, uh, you're gonna send it to your voicemail profile. And notice it says voicemail. You're gonna check this box to send it to voicemail, and that will complete the process guys uh, like I said this is the step that I didn't do in my first video and I just felt like I needed to share that with you guys um, and next video I will do will actually show you guys that have purchased my item how to get your phones registered um, I know that's very important and a lot of you guys are confused I'm gonna show you how to program the switch how to um, turn on the services in the call manager to get everything up and running so stay tuned thanks for viewing Please like, comment, and subscribe. For geek sakes out.